Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. This is your confirmation that a new beginning is unfolding in your life. Is If whatever that we'll be talking today is resonating with you, you are in that huge major phase of transformation where everything is shifting, everything is changing, what you knew before is kind of falling apart, so something completely new can take place in your life. So maybe you are going through a phase of transformation which is giving a birth to a whole new version of yourself, which is more loving, more abundant, healthier, more appreciative, and at the same time, you are completely leaving behind the old version of yourself. And as yesterday I mentioned, you know, we have that core uh, self-image, the image of ourselves, and around that self-image is ego, which is protecting the self-image. And as that self-image is changing, as you are becoming more aware of yourself, more aware of who you truly are, most parts of that ego which was protecting your old version of yourself are falling apart, you don't need it anymore. And therefore it feels like you're losing parts of yourself, you're losing um, like parts of your identity which is not actually true, what you're losing is that protective mechanism which is not serving you anymore so you can fully open yourself for completely new opportunities, completely new synchronicities and completely new blessings. And of course in order to do that we need to learn to surrender and trust more. And often people are wondering well how to trust, how to surrender when it feels like everything is falling apart in my life. And it's not just your life that it feels like everything is falling apart, it's like the whole world right now. We look around and it feels like everything is falling apart. People are changing, our family members are changing. Some uh, started to transforming with us and some started blocking themselves more than ever before. Our friend changing and same is happening there. Some people are moving with us changes and growing with us and some people are just holding to their past and, and it feels like they are being left behind. And then we see if systems are changing, financial systems are changing, so much is changing, the nature is changing, right? It feels like the weather is changing and you know everything is transforming. So when we look outside of us and we see all of those changes, it's hard to trust, right? It's hard to trust that everything will be okay, but truly there's something we are all challenged to do right now and what we are truly challenged to do right now is to learn what we actually can control, what is actually in our power and focus to that. Because what is in your control is your awareness over yourself and what you're doing on your daily basis, that's in your control. And we were living our lives so much externally, constantly focusing on what somebody said, what somebody will do or what somebody did. And all the social media and all the news are designed to make us think that way, to always focus outside of us. But now as the shifts are, are, are happening, we've been challenged to find a new approach which is see what is happening within you and change what you can change in order to live in a greater alignment with your inner truth. So we must learn to let go of the old concepts, of the old ideas so we can manifest greater abundance, greater um, miracles into our lives because truly your inner self knows that you are meant to live a life of abundance, a life of joy, a life of a great opportunities, great blessings. And you know, you're truly meant to do that. But 
in order to get there, you firstly need to let go of what is not supporting that process, what is not supporting that flow, what is not supporting this great opportunities to unfold. And we are actually learning to let go. We are learning to truly release what is not serving us anymore. So if you're wondering how to do that, like what are practical ways to do that? Because it's all about practical ways right now. We are wondering, well, how to do that? Here's what you need to do. Because firstly, we need to understand that we try to control things because of what we think will happen if we don't. In other words, control is rooted in fear. And if we want to live more in love, more in trust, we need to stop controlling things and we need to gain greater trust into what we want to experience, right? And trust comes with action, taking actions. And when we start taking actions, we need to get consistent with it. And consistency creates a habit, right? So we start designing new habit, habits which are based on trust. You start doing something which is resonating with you. you. You become consistent with that and you gain a greater trust. So you stop controlling the things which are not even in your power and you start doing what you can do and what you want to do more often. So if control is a result of being attached to a specific outcome that, um, that we're sure is best for us, as we always know what's best, but what if you don't actually know what's best for you? You know, so often we try to, to experience specific outcome like we just know that this is the best thing for us but what if the universe has something much better in store for you but you're so attached to uh, your perfect image of how life supposed to be that you're constantly blocking the best possible outcome that could happen for you you know that when we trust that we're okay no matter what circumstances comes our way. We don't try to control them anymore. We completely let go. And we open ourselves to all sorts of wonderful possibilities that aren't there when we're attached to one right thing. So when we trust that we're okay no matter what circumstances comes our way, we recognize that there is nothing we need to control. There's truly nothing we need to control. So what we can do is firstly to accept where we are. We accept where we are and we say to ourselves, well, I'm okay. Doesn't matter what's happening, I'm okay. And for doing that is required a great amount of self-love. To love yourself enough to not force yourself into anything. But rather to firstly accept all of yourself. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you don't need to blame yourself. You don't need to pull yourself down because you didn't do something or because you're not um, the way you want it to be. Accept all of yourself. Recognize, well, you are where you are because you need to be there right now. And it's okay. You don't need to be anybody else. You don't need to do anything right now. It's okay to just be where you are. Acceptance, right? Accept yourself. Then recognize, do you feel attached to a certain outcome right now? Do you feel like your life can only be good when those things will happen. Do you feel that? Because we all have some kind of fears that if it will not happen, we will suffer. But we only suffer because we are afraid that it may not happen, right? So it's not that that outcome is uh, making us feel that way. It's our approach of what will 
or how we will feel if it will not happen? What if there are so many different opportunities which may come out of nowhere on different unfamiliar ways? But because we don't trust that it's possible, we attach ourselves to just one specific thing that we know that is best for us. Even if it's not, we don't even know what's best and what's not best for us. But actually anything that happens to us is actually happening for us. And whatever happens for us is the best thing that ever happened for us because we needed to learn something from it. Right? So we try so hard to control things, but there's nothing, nothing we can control. Because actually everything is happening the way it needs to happen. And of course we can navigate ourselves. That's the, here's the power of manifestation. You can always navigate your life by having a vision in what kind of direction you're going. But then you stay open for opportunities. As I mentioned, huge shifts are happening. And to navigate yourself during these major shifts means that you have a vision of who you are becoming, how you want to feel, because it's all about feeling. It's not actually about the material things that are happening on that physical level, but how we feel about it. If you have that vision for the future that you are more in love with life than ever before, you feel healthier than ever before, you appreciate more than ever before, things which will give you reasons to feel more of that will find you. It's always like that. And it is truly the most powerful things, thing to recognize that it's not actually about what we manifest, but how we feel about these manifestations. How we feel, because more we are grateful, more things to be grateful for will find us. So it's truly just a question. Why you feel so attached to a certain outcome? Or what you're afraid that will happen if you let go of control. What you're afraid of that will happen if you let go of control. Because today, you see, I'm sharing with you my latest painting, which is, the name of it is Trust. And it represents open doors, which seems like doors into a dreamland, into a dream state. And there are some steps, you know, on which uh, you walk, when you trust and every time we trust the unknown it feels like we are walking into a completely unfamiliar direction but what's different than before is that synchronicities are finding us new opportunities are finding us miracles are finding us new people are finding us and we're meeting new relationships and we're meeting new financial opportunities um, we are meeting new information which can help us to maybe improve our health to improve our well-being well-being or whatever it is and and all we actually did was that we surrendered and we started to trust more and being afraid less right so we we actually checked within what we are afraid of, that we will lose, and we let go of that. We truly surrendered, and we started walking a new path. So maybe you feel right now that you're walking a completely new path, unfamiliar path, and maybe it feels like nothing is unfolding yet, but at the same time, you have that deep feeling that so many great things are coming to you and all you need to do is to keep up like keep taking those imperfect steps towards your dreams keep it up keep walking towards there because surrendering truly is complete acceptance of what is plus having faith 
that all is well, even without any major uh, result or any major fact that you could um, know that things are going well. It's a complete trust, having faith and acceptance of where you are right now. So we are learning to accept all of ourselves, the good stuff, the bad stuff, everything. And we actually stop uh, comparing, you know, good and bad, positive and negative, but we start to learn more. What can I learn from my joyful experiences? What can I learn from my, my sad experiences? And to see, you know, where's that, um, uh, where's that balance spot? Where's that spot where I feel in balance? Where's that spot where I feel in peace with myself? Where I feel in harmony with myself? And what happens that I lose that state? And that's where we're learning more about that self-awareness. Where to, 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 you know, how to stay in that state of harmony. And what is pulling us out of it? And is there something that I could stop doing that is pulling me out of the state of harmony? Because if you love yourself enough, you will quit doing what is not in alignment with you. And you will start accepting even more of yourself by doing that. It's okay if you did something in the past, if you, it's, it's completely okay if you're still doing something which is not in alignment with you. But the question is how long you're still willing to do something which is lowering down your vibe, which, which is lowering down your core vibration. And truly, what are you willing to do with um, with yourself to get to where you want to be without forcing things to happen to truly surrender my friends so this is it for today i hope you've enjoyed in today's painting trust let me know what this painting represents to you and let me know how you feel let me know if you feel any changes in your in your life right now because so many people are changing and I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day. Until next time, one love.